All right, how are you doing today? Today we'll be taking a look at another hack for the Logic Pro Drummer and Logic Pro 11. You can check out my channel. I have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog here. Lots of stuff on Logic Pro 11 lately because it just came out. Of course, depending on when you're watching this video, it could have been out for a long time. But anyways, I've got all kinds of videos here, so please do check out the channel. Subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell. But anyways, let's get into this. So here we are in Logic. Just a quick thing here. This is all one drummer track that is split into different parts. And I'm gonna show you how we do this in a second here. Actually, I'll just show you right now. <laughs> Why not? So we'll, we'll just mute these ones here and use this section of the song over here. So create our drummer, bam. Uh, we could even choose a different drummer. We don't have to do the same one. Let's just do, let's try the punk rock one. That doesn't really matter. Anyone you wanna do is do garage rock. Create. Now, the region starts at the beginning, but we're gonna move it over here. Now what we wanna do, go to track, other, and then new track with same instrument right there. And there's, there's a key switch for it as well, but I just wanted to show you where it is. And now we're gonna do that again. So now this is all one instrument. And if I hit mute, it's gonna mute. If I hit solo, it's gonna solo all of them. But we also have these regions here now that we can write in, drag those over here. Now this is the same thing playing over and over again. So what we're gonna do, uh, we can have our main one here. We'll turn the hi-hats off, we'll leave the kick and snare on. We'll leave the fills on as they are. And then we'll take this one. This one, we turn off our high or we turn off our kick and snare and then our hi-hat is completely separated. We'll turn the fills off because the fills start overlapping and that could get really weird. You could probably find it, come up with some crazy stuff like that as well. And then we're here, we can mute this, can mute the kick and snare and then turn the fills off if you want to. But there's a couple things we can do here. Now I have the hi-hat on a completely separate track. And what I'm gonna do is convert that to MIDI. So now we have the hi-hat, we got this basically. But now we can go in here and we can change the hi-hat up just by editing the MIDI pack part. Let's do it this way so you can see better. It's pretty much a standard MIDI hi-hat or a standard hi-hat pattern. So pretty cool. Now we could add in tambourines because on the percussion track, you only get one thing at a time, one percussion instrument. We got a cowbell. Let me change the velocity, make it a little louder. So now we have this whole other thing we can do with the hi-hat and percussion. Well, the kick and snare, the fills stay the same. And so the reason I have the third one down here, let's get this here. We can do something else as well. We can move these around too, and we can put these in a track stack. So control D or not control D, uh, command shift D, summing stack, drums. So now it's all, you know, easier to view when you can just close it up if you need to. Anyways, so here's another trick you can do. We can make this one just the snare or just the kick rather. And we'll leave the fills on that one. And this one, we'll mute the hat again. We'll mute the kick. Now we have the snare. Now you will get some overlap. Sometimes when they do, well, we turn the fills off in this one. Sometimes the fills kind of overlap, but we could change the complexity of the kick drum or the snare or the pattern. Um, like I said, we want the, the snare drum to be a lot more complex. But 
but you want the kick to stay the same. You'll just have to experiment around with this one because like I said, sometimes the fills and stuff get a little crazy. Yeah, so pretty cool. Little, just a quick trick today of getting some extra fun out of your, your drummer here. Now, of course, you could use the percussion instruments as well, but this is a way to have more control. You know, say you get like 90% of your drum track the way you want it, but then you want to make some fine adjustments. Another cool trick is to do the hi-hat ride pattern kind of thing that drummers do. Kind of a Neil Part thing where he does the off beats on the, on the ride cymbal while playing the hat. It kind of sounds very sloppy right now because I got the kick and snare going all over the place. But you get the idea. And we could even come back here and take mute the kick and snare, put the kick and snare back on that track with the fills. Come over here and we can even use one of their rhythm tracks for the tambourine or hats or whatever. Or you could rhyme in yourself too, do a shaker there. So pretty cool. And since we have this other drummer up here, we could actually take that hi-hat pattern, mix and match drum kits. So just exploring some stuff here with Logic Pro Drummer. Let me know what you think. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.